What's up everybody, it's Charles. Today I'm gonna to show you how to lift your vehicle all four wheels off the ground on four jack stands. Now we're gonna be using my Mark 7.5 Golf R for this job. So if you drive that kind of car, you hit the jackpot. Otherwise, what we're gonna talk about today does apply to basically any vehicle. Typically I like to only lift either the front or the rear up at one time, but there's a handful of jobs that require all four wheels off the ground or for the car to be level. Things like manual transmission service, Haldex service, we need the car level, or if we're doing things like rotating the tires or bleeding brakes, it's nice to have all four wheels off the ground. Because safety is our number one concern here, we wanna make sure we do some things before actually lifting the car. One, we wanna make sure we're on a level hard surface. If you're working on hot asphalt, you may wanna take a piece of metal or a piece of wood underneath your jack, and your jack stands so the car doesn't sink into the asphalt. And if we can avoid it, we definitely don't wanna do this on grass, sand, or gravel. Next, we wanna make sure that the steering wheel is straight. We wanna make sure the car is in park or if it's a manual transmission in first gear. We wanna go ahead and set the parking brake and we're going to be chalking the front and the rear wheels. Once we've secured the vehicle, go ahead and do a quick check of your jack stands and make sure that they're in good condition. And I always like to test the floor jack and have a little fun while doing it. Also, every car is different, so you want to refer to your vehicle owner's manual to see the proper lifting points on your car. Some vehicles have a lifting point in the very front or the very rear of the vehicle, which makes lifting that end of the car much, much easier. Because this VW has so much plastic, we don't want to lift it up by the front core support or the rear bumper that can cause damage to the vehicle. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Again, keeping safety in mind. Also, after you lift the vehicle, if you're going to be taking the wheels off, it's a good idea to go ahead and loosen those lug bolts and lug nuts a little bit before lifting the car. Once we have our vehicle in the proper spot where we're going to lift it, next we need to find the pinch welds under our car. Now if your vehicle has a full frame, this makes it really easy. Just use the frame. Typically a unibody car like this is going to have four points on the vehicle that are actually meant for lifting. These are reinforced areas on the pinch weld right behind the front tires and right in front of the rear tires. These spots typically hang down a little bit lower than the rest of the pinch weld or can even be indicated by a notch or something on the body of the car. Now if your car has a side skirt or something low like this, you may want to take a hockey puck or a block of wood to extend the distance between the side skirt and the jack. We don't want to crush our side skirt when we lift up our car. Once we have everything in place and we found the pinch weld, we want to set the jack as perpendicular to the body line of the car as we can. Now you really want to take your time here to make sure the jack pad or the hockey puck, whatever you're using, is as centered on the pinch weld as you can get it. I like to slowly put the jack up to the vehicle, then go ahead and give it a pump and make sure that it's secured. We also wanna look and make sure we're not doing any damage to the pinch weld here. If you feel like it's bending, lower the jack down and reset it. Now from here, we can go ahead and lift our car up. We notice something really awesome about a car like this. It lifts the front and the back up. So we're gonna start with the jack stand at the back of the vehicle. Now there's two main kinds of jack stands. We have the ones with the flat pad, and ones with the grooved pad. Both work really well, so use what you have. One thing I don't like to do is take the jack stand and extend it all the way out. It makes me a little uncomfortable when it's at its top setting. So we're gonna actually drop it down one lower than that. I also like to take a little piece of shop rag to protect the pinch weld and set it on top. We're gonna leave this one here and we're gonna set the front. Now when it comes to setting the front, I like to put the jack stand on the subframe if possible. This can get a little tricky if you're doing something like working on the subframe. Once we get the car off the ground, I'll show you how to move the jack stands so that it's not up on the subframe in case you're doing work there. So we're gonna take our jack stand. I like to go just behind the control arm. There's a really nice spot right here. So we're going just behind this front bolt for the lower control arm. There are multiple places you could put the jack stand underneath the, on the subframe. You just wanna make sure that it's as close to the outside of the vehicle as possible because we are gonna put one on the other side. Once we have our jack stands properly secured, we're going to very slowly lower the car down. Keep in mind that the car may actually shift a little bit while you're lowering it down. So Go as slow as you possibly can. Once the weight of the vehicle is on the jack stands, you can go ahead and lower the jack all the way. And then just double check and make sure your jack stands are properly centered. Now you may feel the car's not up high enough. We can raise it up a little bit at a time once we get the whole car off the ground. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, we'll start with the back again, get our jack stand in place. Something we wanna pay attention to on this side though 
we want to make sure that we have the jack stand set at the same height that we had the other side. The same height we had the other side left three holes exposed, so we're going to set it there. Just like that, we'll get our needlessly OCD shop rag set on there, and we'll go ahead and center it right in the pinch weld. Now we'll do the front next. We want to do the same thing in the front as we did in the back. Two holes exposed, just like the other side, and we want to set it right in the same place. And again, very slowly and carefully lower the jack down. Once you have the entire vehicle up on the jack stands, give the car a little shake and make sure it's properly secured. A couple other things I like to do I like to leave the jack underneath the car with just a touch of pressure holding the car up. This is just one backup in case something crazy happens. Also, if you're taking the wheels off, go ahead and slide the wheel and tire assembly underneath the car so that if it does slip, it'll land on the wheel and tire assembly, not on your face. Now, if you need to do work on the subframe, we can't support the car with the subframe. So what we're going to do once the car's off the ground and properly secured, we're going to take our floor jack and we're going to slide it up underneath the car to the subframe. Now, I like to lift it right in front of where the center dog bone mount is or the pendulum mount. Not on the bushing, but right in front of it. If you go up in that bushing hole, you're just going to probably knock the bushing out. Lift the car up. Once the car's lifted off the jack stands, we can go ahead and move those two jack stands to the front pinch welds. And now one thing I do want to do is I want to raise this up so it has three holes exposed to match how high I have the back ones. That way when we set the car down, it'll be nice and level. All right, so there we have it. Our car is properly lifted, secured, ready to go for whatever job we're going to do. For me, I think it's time to put some wheel spacers and new wheel bolts on give this car a little bit better fitment for the wheel and tire. Guys, as always, questions or comments, drop them down below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again next time.